Hello everyone. I don't think I have sat and recorded a YouTube video like just me in the camera in literally maybe two years. Hi, it's me. I'm back. I'm gonna try and be consecutive. Consecutive. I think I said that right. Before we get into this video properly, I want to make you aware of um, some things in the description that you can help me out with. First one is a form to fill out. I'm trying to get into the 80s fan sign London. All you have to do is pay £10 for an album. You can buy multiple. A lot of the information is in that link if you click on it. I'll also be giving away one 80s VIP ticket, row two, which will mean you'll be right on the stage, and also a few other 80s albums. So I have some links down there. It'll save a group or soloist name that you can click on. It'll help us get that group to come and perform or soloist to come and perform in London, which will be great. I really want to see Pentagon. I really want to see Chunker. I really want to see Dreamcatcher. I really want to see Itzy. Anyway, but yeah, if you can help me out with those, all you have to do is click some links down there. I'll appreciate it. Bye. And I'm going to start off today with a little K-pop Q&A. She could rhyme. I don't know if a lot of you are aware. In 2017, I got very into K-pop. So I've asked some questions on my Instagram, on my Twitter. And yeah, we're going to go into it. Uh, I've just realized I haven't got my freaking... I haven't got my bloody Instagram ones up. Obviously, one of the main ones that you guys ask is how did I get into K-pop? Well, I knew about BTS back in 2017 just because, you know, word of mouth and stuff like that. And then I was actually watching Pokimane's stream. She had, as her subscription sound, Likey by Twice. I had literally just the... You know what, you don't need me to badly sing Korean to you. I was like... Oh my god, this is a bop. No idea who Twice was. And so I searched on YouTube and the video was just so like, I was like mesmerized, like literally mesmerized. Then I got really, 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 really into Twice. Like watched their show, like the making of Twice, all their reality shows, everything like that. I was very into Twice for about maybe six months before I started listening to any other groups. End of this video, I am gonna do like a top 10 list and my biases and stuff just so I don't, you know, repeat. Bro, I could talk about K-pop literally for weeks. So what are my first thoughts on the language? And do you understand them now? I wish I could speak fluent in any other language. I wish my brain was that big, but it's not. I first started listening to Korean music. It didn't really bother me because I've always been into drum and bass. So I've always just been into feel good, like sounds and stuff. The fact that I couldn't understand the lyrics didn't bother me whatsoever. I put a clip in, just some Korean rap. The way it flows is just, no, it's breathtaking. Back in go back in the I showed my stream it the other day of my stream don't listen to k-pop and they were like whoa that is mad I now have really got into learning Korean just because I think it's a really beautiful language being really nice to have like a hobby and to be able to put time into something and gain something from it I may literally only know like five words but you know it's fine do your friends and family think about k-pop K-pop and have you made anyone a fan? My family, I don't really talk to my family about music and stuff. They know that I go to concerts and stuff like that. Sorry if I'm saying anything wrong by the way. In terms of group names, Korean names, I'll try my hardest. Just want to put a disclaimer out there, but I'm sorry. I don't mean to cause offense by anything. Talia actually listened to XID and she also liked Blackpink. When I got an opportunity to go and watch Blackpink, I invited her and we had the bestest time. People were curious to know how Will and Josh feel about the fact I really like K-pop, which I don't know, but it's baffling to me like why they care what kind of music i listen to i don't know phil's cool with it he finds it really interesting with like the albums and stuff <laughs> has he got dark hair again he's got some what i don't know oh that's g sung g sung i love g sung though and then this one yeah. it's him it's him <laughs> Josh, I first got into Twice. He really liked Dancing the Night Away. So um, me and Josh reacted to when they brought out it Fancy. I think it was Fancy. Here with Josh today. I got fish and chips. He's actually a Twice fanboy, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. <laughs> What's your favourite Twice song? Uh, I know it, I know it, I know it. <clears throat> if you can s sing a bit of it, I'll tell you the name. I always sing this one. They put me under the pressure. Dun, dun. One more note. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Da, 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 da. See that one? We're gonna watch Fancy together. Uh, 
Would, do you want me to say they're supportive over K-pop? I don't know, they take an interest in it because this is an interest of mine, so. So a question I really wanted to answer because I get asked it a lot from friends, other people that follow me, my stream and stuff like that is, they don't know about K-pop. Why should they take an interest in it or why should they listen to it? The thing that really made me fall in love with K-pop was the variety of music, of genres, of voices, of styles, the production of it together. I really suggest you looking into just some groups. There's loads of different varieties of K-pop. K-pop idols I've met. Now, by met, only done high touch. High touch is a thing where K-pop idols will be there and you get to go and give them a high five. Sounds weird, but it's cool. I've done Straker's High Touch twice. I've done The Boys High Touch and I've done Itzy High Touch. So that's a little bit about how I got into K-pop. And now let's talk about where it went all downhill. <laughs> where I found other groups, as you do, became a K-pop stan, is what they call it. I'm gonna actually open my K-pop playlist because it gives you a good timeline of when I started finding new groups and stuff. As you can see, I got into Yuna and Pentagon really early on. Like, you can see, like, Bebe is just above twice and then obviously like I found Red Velvet, Blackpink, Luna. Luna was a very first group I stand and it was really cool to watch them debut. So I got into it quite late. Pristin, rip. So uh, Pentagon, so you can see Triple H, sad times. Idol, Luna, Stray Kids, the first Stray Kid ones, oh we'll get there. You can kind of see the progression here like Mamamoo, very recent, uh, beginning of last year. You can see where I added them like just on the side. I can listen to one K-pop band for the rest of my life. What would it be? It would be Stray Kids because I know there would be content there all the time, you know, unlike uh, <coughs> YG, uh, Blackpink. Um, what concerts have I been to? My first ever K-pop concert was Blackpink. I was sent to Blackpink by Kia which was in like like, incredible. Then went to BTS with my mum, and then went to Stray Kids. That was the first ever concert I went to by myself. I met, like, other fans and stuff, and that's how I met my friend Lexi, who I'm sure you'll see on his channel a lot more. I went to KCON in Thailand, because KCON was just incredible. I saw ITZY, Everglow, Stray Kids, 80s, GOT7, X1, Eyes1, Chungha, <gasps> Chungha, B6, sorry, okay. What K-pop concerts do I have planned? Well, I had a ticket to 80s, but I am giving that away. The form is down in the description. We'll explain everything there. If you have any questions, just head over to my Twitter or ask me anything, but yeah. AB6, I'm going to AB6. Might be going to Super M, but I'm not super sure. <laughs> um, and obviously Stray Kids, when the tickets are released, and whatever other concerts get announced I'm sure I'll be there so if you see a blue haired girl around probably me come say hi I'm hoping to go to KCON LA as well I would be going to KCON Thailand again but fortunately it overlaps with TwitchCon and I didn't go to TwitchCon last year because of KCON so hopefully I'm gonna be able to go to KCON LA this year I hope someone asked do I know any choreography I can't say that word sorry oh. I've tried to say it I don't I am so bad I one of my goals for this year is to literally learn a full K-pop choreography. <laughs> that word. I'm gonna be doing a video on Lexi's channel soon featuring Talia and Freya where we learn Blackpink. Um, I know like, I, I can do like little like hand movements but when you involve the legs, it isn't something someone would wanna watch, you know, one of them ones. What's my favorite comeback of 2019? A big old question. No, there's so many. Loved Wecky Mecky Picky. I would probably say my favorite comeback was it's just a song I can listen to on repeat. Could not, never, not, not listen to it. You know, one of them ones, yep. If I stand third or fourth gens more. Now, because I'm a very new K-pop stan, I would say maybe stand fourth gen a little bit more, like as in as a whole. But obviously there is a lot of third gen uh, groups and idols that I stand. So when it comes to first and second, I have no idea. I'm super uneducated. If someone wants to educate me, maybe I could do a reaction video on first and second gens. Ooh, I'd like that because I'd actually really like to educate myself, you know. What would my dream K-pop concert be? Twice London. Twice world tour. Where? Twice London. Is all sisters. What is my favorite K-pop memory? Probably meeting Itzy because they were so lovely. Like they actually like spoke to me. It was just really nice. That's a memory that will always be stuck in my head. Also seeing the special stage at KCON. Everglow one, the one with um, 80s Hong Jung and Stray Kids, Jisung, Chan and Changbin and also Idol uh, Soyeon. Seeing that live was so sick because we heard about it in the day and then we were like, is it gonna happen? Like are they is that really gonna be like a special stage? We had no idea and then we saw it and it was sick. Also seeing X1 and um, Eyes1. Eyes1 has one of my favorite 
songs ever, which is Highlight. If you haven't listened to Highlight, go listen to Highlight. Now I'm rambling. Someone asked if my blue hair was inspired by K-pop. It wasn't at all. We've done a TV show for TBBC on K-pop the other day. One of the things they asked me was if I dyed my hair blue for K-pop. No! I used to have rainbow hair when I was like 16 to like 18. I dyed my hair blue because I asked my Twitter a long time ago if I hit a certain amount of followers on my Twitch, I would dye my hair blue. And now we're here, a year in. Blue's just my favourite colour, if you can't tell. Look, I have a blue tattoo as well. I do my bias from some groups I have listed here. Stray Kids is Chan with a wreck of it used to be Woojin, but I can't even speak about it. But yeah, now Minho is, oh, his vocals right now, unreal. Twice. Blackpink is Lisa. I wrote Stray Kids here twice. Itzy is Yeji because I watched a lot of her pre-debut stuff when she'd done a lot of the uh, variety shows. And I was like, who is this girl? My BTS biases I can't choose is Hosok or Namjoon. Luna is Chu. I love her. Mamamoo is Sola or Hwaza. Like, Pentagon is Wusok and Yanan, but you know, sad times. And 80s is Young and it used to be Hongjoon because I just think he's an incredible leader. Cake on Thailand, I was like Young. Well, if I had to say my top five groups, it would be probably Stray Kids twice. No, Stray Kids, Blackpink twice, Pentagon. No, no, no. <laughs> Stray Kids, Blackpink, Twice, 80s, Pentagon. The video I really want to do, guys, is um, to print off some group pictures and to get my friends to choose, like Will, Josh, Simon, Alia, Freya, all people like that, people that don't really listen to K-pop. Let me know if that is a video you'd like. This is really weird for me because I always feel like sit-down videos just aren't very good videos. I really hope this was something of interest and I don't know. If you have any K-pop questions, put it down in the comments below because I love talking about K-pop. And yeah, see you guys. Bye.